Have you ever wondered if a number so large, it stretches beyond human imagination? Could this number actually be prime? We are talking about the 2 to the power of 127 minus 1. That is a number with 39 digits, large. Now here's the twist. We're going to explore whether this monster of a number is prime without using a computer. Before we dive into 2 to the 127 minus 1, we need some context. Numbers like this actually belong to a special family called Mersenne numbers. A Mersenne number is any number of the form 2 to the n minus 1. We write m of p when n equals p and p is prime. A Mersenne prime is an m of p that is itself prime. For example, if p equals 2, we get 2 squared minus 1 equals 3, which is prime. If p equals 3, we get 2 cubed minus 1 equals 7, also prime. If p equals 5, we get 2 to the 5th minus 1 equals 31, prime again. But here's the catch. Not every prime exponent produces a prime result. For example, p equals 11 gives us 2 to the 11th minus 1 equals 2047, which looks prime at first glance. But it's actually 23 times 89, so clearly things aren't straightforward. Even if p itself is prime, 2 to the p minus 1 might not be. This is exactly why the number 2 to the 127 minus 1 sparks curiosity. Since 127 is prime, there's a chance its Mersenne number might also be prime. But we can't just assume. Now here's where the story gets interesting. Testing numbers this large requires ingenious methods, and mathematicians developed them long before computers existed. Let's strip away the complexity and explain the Lucas-Lemer test in plain language. The goal, to check whether 2 to the p minus 1 is prime, where p is a prime number. Here's the process. Start with the numbers equals 4. Then, repeatedly apply the rule. s becomes s squared minus 2. After each update, computus becomes s squared minus 2, reduced modulo m of p. This keeps the numbers manageable. For odd prime p, after doing this exactly p minus 2 times, m of p is prime if and only if the final result equals 0. This test is exact. Sounds mechanical, right? But it works beautifully. Let's take a smaller example. Suppose p equals 5. Then the candidate number is 2 to the 5th. Minus 1 equals 31. We need to perform p minus 2 equals 3 iterations. Start, s equals 4. Now we square this and subtract 2. Step 1, s equals 4 squared minus 2 equals 14. Now we square 14 and subtract 2. Step 2, s equals 14 squared minus 2 equals 194. Now we reduce this modulo 31. 194 modulo 31 equals 8. Finally, we square 8 and subtract 2. Step 3, s equals 8 squared minus 2 equals 62. Reducing modulo 31, 62 modulo 31 equals 0. And there it is. We got 0, which confirms 31 is prime. This method scales even to colossal exponents like 127. So, how did Lucas actually prove it? He ran the numbers. Let's walk through the key moments of his historic calculation. The rule is the same. Start with 4, then repeatedly square, subtract 2, and find the remainder when dividing by our 39-digit number, m of 1 and 27. The first few steps are simple enough for anyone to do on paper, but the numbers grow fast. After 120 grueling steps, the intermediate result is this enormous 38-digit number. Imagine calculating that by hand. Just before the final step, at term 124, something amazing happens. The sequence lands on a perfectly clean power of 2. And when you take that number through one final iteration, the result is exactly 0. That final 0 is the checkmate. 
By the rules of the Lucas-Lemur test, this is the definitive, undeniable proof that 2 to the 127 minus 1 is prime. This was a monumental achievement. For 75 years, it remained the largest prime number known to humanity, a record established by Edward Lucas, not with a silicon chip, but with paper, ink, and this incredible mathematical proof. So let's tie it all together. We started with an almost unthinkable question. Is this gigantic number prime, and could we prove it without a computer? Here's the big takeaway. Mathematics isn't just about crunching numbers. It's about creativity, persistence, and using elegant ideas to tackle problems that look impossible. 2 to the 127 minus 1 reminds us that the human mind, even without machines, can achieve incredible things. So the next time you see a giant number and think it's out of reach, remember Lucas, sitting in the 1800s, proving primality for one of the largest numbers ever known. Because who knows? Maybe you'll be the one to discover the next largest prime number.